In other news, a breakthrough has been achieved in the case of a Taiwanese fisherman shot dead by the Philippines Coast Guard. Both Taiwan and the Philippines agreed that homicide charges should be brought against eight Coast Guard officials. When recommending the indictments, Philippine investigators said the Coast Guard officials were unable to prove their lives were in imminent danger when they opened fire. On May 9th, the Guandaxing 28 fishing boat was sprayed by gunfire from a Philippines government vessel. Three months later, the Philippines National Bureau of Investigation held a press conference. It recommended that eight members of the Philippines Coast Guard be charged with homicide. On the same day, the Pingdong District Prosecutor's Office announced that it concluded its investigation and is indicting the same eight men. Article 271 of the Criminal Code allows for a sentence of between 10 years and death for offenses of homicide. The Philippines allows for a sentence of between 12 and 40 years for homicide. If the trial is not held here, we can suspend this case by listing the defendants as wanted. Our hope is that the Philippines uses its legal system to give these suspects an appropriate, strict penalty. Taiwan requested that the Philippines punish those responsible, apologize, provide compensation, and restart fisheries talks. On June 14th, the two sides met and pledged to build a legal cooperation mechanism for the seas. Tomorrow, a special envoy of Philippine President Benigno Aquino III will visit the family of the victim in Pingdong.